guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to the nursery welcome back to all of you and your sweet babies it's misty with kiss curls nursery and i am back with this sweet little baby bean um that is going to be this baby's nickname from here on out and i'm going to do a little changing because i need to do his photo shoot today and get him listed on my website and i thought i would show you what i'm going to change him into I will um, also do a change in chat with him. I think it's a good topic to talk about. And also I will show you pictures of his photo shoot at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. But I thought I would get little baby bean dressed into this cute little outfit that I found on Amazon. It's by HB. It is preemie sized, has a little side snap shirt. This is an outfit that matches my little baby Brayden James. He has another outfit that looks just like this, except it is a gown. Um, this little outfit has a matching hat, super cute. I am loving this little onesie with the little animals on it. So adorable. I think I'm going to grab my little lovey that will match this as well for his photo shoot. And I'm going to put these little pants on him, but I want to let his little tootsies hang out. Uh, I love these little pants because you can roll them and make them a little shorter. So I'm super loving those. But let's talk about a topic for change in chat. I am going to talk about my reborn doll collector pet peeves. So these are pet peeves I have for myself, but these are also things that I've seen other collectors do that just make me crazy. Whether you have a silicone doll or whether you have a vinyl reborn, doesn't matter. These things make me crazy because these dolls are just so expensive. So it's kind of a pet peeve video, but I'll also kind of tell you what not to do with your dolls in case you're a newer collector or it just might be something you just don't know. You might learn something new today, so stay tuned. So we're just gonna unwrap this little guy and I have already had people asking about this little one. Everyone just thinks his little face and his expression is so sweet. I agree, I think he's totally cute. But I'm ready to get him out of this hospital stuff and pretend he's home and he's a new baby. He's not in the NICU anymore. And we're gonna get him dressed into some cute clothes and do a little photo shoot with this little bubba. So well, if we can talk about some pet peeves of, let's say doll collecting, um, just in general, um, you never want to hold your baby. I've seen people do this on several videos and, and, and it's adults doing this. <laughs> but regardless of age, you don't want to hold your babies by the head or the limbs. If you do, you can tear their bodies. You can, um, with silicone, tear the silicone, rip their limbs, um, and you don't want to do that. You want to be very gentle with your babies. Um, and I've seen experienced collectors, like really popular people on YouTube that have like a million followers and they have had hundreds of babies in their collection. I have literally watched them grab their dolls by the face and like pick them up and move them. Like just grab their head and just pick them up and move them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just want to scream, especially with a silicone. And this person has had the head of her dolls come off. She's torn the neck of her silicones. Just, just don't do it. Like, I don't even know why that's such a habit for this person. Um, definitely not something I would advise, especially with a baby as expensive as one of these babies. Um, same thing being rough with the, the babies. I saw someone doing a box opening and she like literally just let her pet terrorize the doll. It was actually a cat and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, that cat is gonna totally like tear that baby's silicone face open. Like the cat was just all over. It was a kitten, but it's like, dang man, put the kitten in another room if you're gonna film or film in another room or what have you. Yeah. <laughs> 
that also leads to dog to dogs. So I was watching somebody do another box opening video and they had a very large dog and that dog was all over that doll. It wasn't a silicone, it was a vinyl doll and it doesn't matter, but um, that dog was licking everything, was like taking the lovey, which you know, dogs are gonna do. They think it's their toy. Oh, look at that little arm. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Um, I love it when I'm changing them and their limbs just kind of go everywhere like a real baby. It's crazy to me. Um, so this baby does fit in preemie size really well, especially after you've washed the preemie clothes. Um, this baby fits in, in preemie size clothes perfectly. This is like the perfect little preemie. Just so sweet. And also this leads to another thing. Don't leave your dolls on the floor. Like I've seen videos where, um, once again, a really experienced collector was like had just gotten a doll. It was again, once again, I love watching box openings. You can tell I love watching box openings. If there's a kit that I'm interested in, I will watch box openings on that baby. Um, just so I can check out the kit and see all the details because usually people show all the details like the feet and the hands and stuff on the box opening videos. I'll go on YouTube and look up that kit. But I've legit watched somebody after a box opening, instead of getting a boppy or a blanket or putting something on the floor with the baby to like put the baby on like I'm doing now. But I watched this person take the baby straight out of the box and just place the baby straight on the floor. And then they wanted to dress the baby like we all do. You know, when you first get a baby, you want to like change their clothes and play with them. And they were just doing it on the hard floor. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, like <laughs> you are just going to mess up the paint on that baby. If it's a vinyl doll, you can scratch it. If it's a silicone doll, I don't even want to think about what you're doing to that doll with the silicone rubbing all over the hard floor. Um, I've watched several people do that. And one person just had like this really dirty stained up carpet and it had dog hair all over it and it was a silicone. And I was just like, oh my gosh, everything, the carpet hairs are going to stick to that baby. The dog hair is going to stick to that baby. I mean, if you have pets it's just it's inevitable you know you're gonna get hair on them and and lots of things want to stick to your silicone baby but oh my goodness you know just like these babies are so expensive whether you buy a reborn doll or a silicone it's expensive we all work so hard to buy these babies it's like why just why um another thing is putting really dark clothes on your babies. I've seen people not even wash the clothes for their reborn dolls and just rip the tags off of them. By the way, that's another thing. Don't rip the tags off your clothes, especially if you're buying like really expensive designer clothes for your baby. Um, it'll put a hole in them. Just take a couple extra seconds, use a pair of scissors and cut the, the plastic on the tag. Um, just take that time, preserve your clothes as well. Um, but wash your clothes first so that the dye doesn't transfer over to your, your baby, especially if you have a silicone doll. Also, you're gonna wanna try to put onesies on your babies. Try to find some white onesies for your babies. Um, put those on your babies if they're a partial silicone, If they are a reborn doll, if they are a full body silicone, you wanna protect that baby's cloth body from a lot of dye transfer or you don't want it to get dirty because you could disassemble the baby and wash it, but who wants to go through all that? Just keep it nice and clean and that way you don't have to worry about anything like that um, for a really long time with your baby. Um, also, for me, I like to try to avoid uh, dark clothes altogether, but you definitely want to wash those clothes so they don't transfer over with the dyes onto your baby's 
cloth body or onto their skin. So those are just a couple of pet peeves I have about my baby. What are your reborn pet peeves for yourself? Or what have you seen other people do that just makes you cringe because you're just thinking of all the dollars that are going in the garbage can while they're doing it? Let me know in the comments down below, but please, Keep this channel nice, no naming any names. We don't need to do that, no judgment here. Um, I am kind of sort of judging you, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this baby's little photo shoot. I hope you guys are enjoying him. I know I am. Um, I'm really enjoying all of the sweet silicone babies in my nursery. I've been having so much fun with them. They're so super realistic. I've really had a great time with them. Um, I will definitely be making this little sculpt again. Um, I'm going to try to make this little baby a girl, but it's so hard for me not to see boy. All of my babies can be whatever gender you want, or I can send them in a gender neutral box opening. If you request it, just make sure you let me know. Um, this baby, I'm going to do the photos and list on the website. So you can purchase this baby on the website down below if you're interested in him or another little baby I have. I only have silicones available at the moment, but when I come back from the show, I will be working on vinyls. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you love this little baby bean and his cute little outfit. I will see you guys on the next video.